How you doing, YouTube? Matt Nassa Beer Reviews back with unboxing. A little bit more than an unboxing. Do a little bit more than just open this hopeful, delicious package from Carson yet again. That would be six beer mails within about a two-month period of time, two-and-a-half-month period of time. Anyway, it's going to be a little bit more than this. So it's going to be a little bit of unboxing, a little bit of channel update stuff, a little bit of what's going on with me. Um, so first things first, this video is really weird to record. Um, not because it's an unboxing or a channel update or whatever. It's because I have not recorded a beer review, a beer video, any kind of content whatsoever. I have not filmed anything in almost a month's time. I haven't filmed anything since January 12th. Today is February 6th. Um, and that's weird. I cannot tell you not only the last time I didn't review a beer in a week. I can't tell you the last time I hadn't had a beer in a week. You know, I'm sure there's been times where I was sick or busy or whatever, but I can't remember. Um, I'm, by the way, we'll get to this in a second, but um, I'm doing like a pseudo kind of dry January thing. Uh, dry January, people usually don't drink beer for a whole month. I'm doing kind of a, a, a kind of altered version of that, more of a healthier month. I have a beer here. This is non-alcoholic beer from... Uh, from Athletic Brewing Company. I actually did this as a mystery beer, so if you go back a couple mystery beers, you see me cover this, and I actually didn't even know it was a uh, non-alcoholic beer. So I've been drinking a couple non-alcoholic beers, but for the most part, we're doing like a healthier month. It's not necessarily that we're going to be doing just a no-alcohol month. Um, for us, we're not doing a traditional dry January from the beginning to the end of January. We're doing for my birthday, which was January 13th to the 13th of February. Um, and we're just trying to, you know, Put down the cheese asshole kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Not drink um, a ton of beer and not just uh, eat as poopily. So I've been doing that. So I really just haven't had anything to record. And, uh, you know, no beer mails. I mean, I got a, about four or five beer mails over this month, but they've all been from breweries. Got a little hot butcher coming in. Um, I got a little bit of uh, Monday Night Brewing coming in. I got um, Lone Pine Brewing sent me some stuff for the first time. I got some brewery stuff that came in, but I don't do videos for those. At least I don't anymore. I usually do viewer stuff, hence why I'm going to open this package. But uh, So, yeah, it's been really weird to the point where I started recording and, and had to stop and redo this because I forgot to put my mic on. And that's how like out of out of sync I am with doing uh, beer videos. But uh, it's been a pretty fun month. Don't get me wrong. I am a week away from chugging some beers. I'm going to really enjoy that. But it was a cool month. Not just um, from the standpoint of a healthier me. Um, uh, because I'm, I'm a big dude. and could always be nice and a little bit more felt. Um, but just the fact that it's nice to put the beer down and focus on other things. We'll get to that in a minute. So let's dive into this uh, box of beer first. This comes courtesy of my buddy Carson. Like I said, uh, he has sent me beer mails galore over the past... Uh, over the past couple of months, you know, I got so many in a row from him. I'm kind of excited to see what is in here. So we'll see what's what. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay. Hopefully there is a check in here again, actually. That's okay if there was. I sent it back. He accidentally sent a check with one of his beer mails. I mailed it back to him. I actually sent him back some beer with it. It was a kind, of, kind of nice to actually pay it back. Because a lot of times I don't do that with a lot of beer beer mails, just because I can't. Cause so many people send me beer. I know first world problems, but such is life. So let's take that, throw that over in my relatively clean room. This room has not been this clean in a long time. Usually there's scattered boxes from beer mails all over the place, and it's actually quite a bit different because I have a whole computer set up. You can't see it off screen right now. I usually have like a monitor over here. It feeds into my um to my main um kind of home theater. Um, but I actually just built a new gaming PC, so my old gaming PC is in here now. We'll touch on that in a minute. Anyway, we got a little letter time. Cheers, dude. If you find any checks in here, please send them back. Carson. Now, this is taped closed. I wonder why. I'm going to open it anyway. We'll see what's what. <sighs> yeah, nothing. It was just taped closed for no reason. So, no checks. Thank you very much, brother. Let's see what he sent off. A couple of mystery beers, which is always nice. Um, I have a decent amount of mystery beers, but like I said, I have, I have not kind of reviewed anything at all um, for almost a month. So I've been, you know, kind of whittling down those mystery beers. I think maybe I have like eight mystery beers. So that's a month's worth of mystery beers. So got two more right here. Gold top and this one. We're going kind of macro beer. I don't know. So we have that side note. With me not reviewing beer and not adding to my backlog, I've been able to kind of whittle through a decent portion of beer reviews that 
Uh, probably would have gotten, like, maybe pushed to the wayside, and that's kind of a, a nice little added bonus um, to this kind of hiatus. I, I, I'm almost embarrassed the amount of backlog I have. My current backlog, with not reviewing any beers um, over the past three or so weeks, I probably have about 30 videos left. So I could go almost another month without um, missing any content of the new stuff. I actually probably have about 200, 300 beer reviews that I'll probably never see the light of day because they're so old now it just don't make, doesn't make sense to post them. Some are probably screw-ups, some are probably messed up, but for some reason or another I did not post them. So, yeah. It's been nice kind of uh, rip through there. Now, I was talking about posting beer. I actually just posted one of these. He sent me off. It was their Willet Barrel Aged version of Down a Rabbit Hole. Uh, their Barrel Aged version from Reb Brewing. And this is the Barrel Aged Volume 11. This is coffee, cassia bark, cocoa nibs, and imperial stout from the day after Christmas. I dig these grenade-shaped bottles. I'm a fan. So that's always nice. And I dig their beers. Uh, we have a little bit of, this looks like, uh, oh, I was going to say fish weird, but not, it's not. It's uh, Southern Swells and what looks like Void Brewing. Yeah, Void Brewing. It's a uh, Snow Goggles. It's double IPA with lemon zest and vanilla bean. Okay. Ooh, look at this can. All dented up and screwed up. I kind of like that. It makes me kind of excited to dive into it. Uh, yeah, something about it. Um, the art design kind of from a distance reminded me of Fish Weird because I know they're kind of close to him. Um, I've enjoyed the beers from that brewery too. And we have one last one. That would be uh, India Pale Ale from Southern Swells, their third year anniversary beer. It's a 6% alcohol IPA. And they actually call out stuff. Um, new hops, they tried throughout the year. It's a combination of those. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Sabro and Cashmere. So, yeah, cool little labeling. So, there you go. Nice little unboxing. Thank you very much, Carson. Very cool. I mean, mystery, always welcome. Uh, you got that red brewing kind of coming, coming correct, son. And then a little bit of Southern Swells. That does not suck. So, thank you very much, Zeter. Um, Yeah, what else? What else is going on? Like I said, we're doing this kind of um, kind of healthy-ish month. Um, this is the 6th. I will be leaving for a little mini vacation. I'm going to go to the Jersey Shore Seaside Park. Yes, I'm going to Jersey Shore in February. Not a lot of people would do that. I'm doing it. The owners of my company have a house down there. We just want to get away, me and uh, me and the wife, um, because uh, she's a farmer. That's what my wife does. She kind of runs the farm we have here. Um, and you've seen pictures and stuff like that of the farm, but it's grown quite a bit over the past several months. We got a, had a baby cow. We just had a baby goat. Um, you know, so it's been getting quite hectic and, and whatever we do, these kind of mini s vacations, it's more for her than me. I, don't get me wrong. I love the vacations. Um, but it, it, even if we stay home and be lazy, she can't help but work. That's what she does. So it'd be nice to kind of get away. I'm going to do a little bit of podcasting down there. I'm going to actually, um, do a podcast at the Last Wave Brewing. They're down there in the Seaside Heights area. Going to end up recording a podcast from there. I'll probably pop in and around breweries. Down and about the kind of uh, Seaside, uh, Jersey Shore, shit everywhere uh, uh, area. Whether it be Kane or Bradley Beach or Jug Handle, Little Dog, Icarus, the whole nine. Uh, definitely some heavy reel up in there. I'm going to be down the street from those guys. So probably record some stuff while I'm down there. Actually totally recording stuff while I'm down there because that would be my first chance to have some beer. So you're going to definitely get some videos from down there. Maybe we'll do some live stuff like we did last time when I went on vacation. So that's going to be coming up. That's going to be this weekend. Uh, what have I done uh, in my spare time uh, without drinking beer? I built a new gaming computer. I don't know how many people out there game. I assume a bulk of you do. You know, if you're into nerdish things like beer and YouTubes, then chances are you like gaming. So, um... I uh I want to I want to pour out one of these beers. I don't want to waste them, but I want to pour out a beer to my old gaming setup. It has done me nothing but kept me happy for listen to this 9 plus years. 9 years on a gaming PC is unheard of. Um, especially if you're running stuff at relatively high settings. Uh, you know, um, I'm not a, a PC gaming purist. I have consoles. I have PlayStation. I've had an Xbox in the past. But I've always had a gaming PC. And, uh, you know, like I said, about nine and or so years ago, um, I decided to build a new one. And I kind of... I didn't hit, like, the silicone lottery so much that I bought, like, the best processor in the fucking history of processors, the... Uh, the Intel i7 2600K, um, which has been an absolute beast 
and probably, like I said, I want to write a poem. I want to shed a tear. I want to pour out a beer to this thing. It has been one of the best uh, best computers I've ever had and a best gaming PC I've ever had. I've been pretty much been able to run with with um, with some upgrades. I got a little bit more memory going on. Went from like you know eight to sixteen a gigabytes of memory. I you know kind of upgraded my card over the years. I went from a seven seventy to a nine seventy into a ten seventy. And I've pretty much been able to throw anything at this uh, thing for years. Um, but the proverbial nail in the coffin came a couple months ago. I actually upgraded my projector. Um, and I knew this was going to happen, but I kind of like was blindly kind of like, oh, like, oh, I'll just get a new projector. I got a 4K projector. Sure, people will see this and might freak out. Yes, it's a pixel shift shifting projector, which isn't true for 4K, but it's 4K to me, and it looks like 4K. That's all I give a shit about. Anyway, upgraded to that. I'm like, awesome. This is fantastic. But that's kind of where that old process kind of sh started to show its 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 age, um, and that it just it can't get past that 1080p. Um, bottleneck. That's where it starts to bottleneck. So, you know, right around a month ago, right before Christmas, my nephew uh, was kind of bugging me about um, gaming PC and how he wanted to build a new one and asked me if I'd do some research for him. And yeah, it made me buy one. Uh, and I bought a doozy. Um, I, I didn't get the best gaming PC I could possibly get um, for my budget. Um, it's a decent computer um i had to uh, had to uh do a bunch of research i was already doing it for my nephew I'm sorry this is more computer centric than beer centric we'll get back to the beer in a minute but um i didn't know i didn't know what to do because i've been out of the loop i've been kind of blinders out with my old computer so i started to research and i was never an amd guy um still i'm not when it comes to graphics cards but uh in the processor and uh, their new ones just kind of piqued my interest not necessarily from a gaming standpoint but for my uh video editing i do a lot of 4k editing i do a lot of photoshop illustrator and i do a lot of cad design 3d cad solid works for my work and just for personal enjoyment and that's kind of where i was kind of like looking at these new new processors so i ended up switching over from the best processor I ever had in the world, an Intel one, to an AMD 3900X, um, uh, 12 core, 24 thread processor. It's a monster. Um, a lot of these 4K videos that I create here, so you're talking about a 6 to 10 minute video typically, um, you know, depending on which system I've exported on, whether I use my work computer, which is a little bit better uh, for video editing than my gaming computer, it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour for a 10 minute 60 frame per second uh, 4K video. I did a 10 minute one the other day and it took 8 minutes. So uh, I think I made a good decision there. Um, ended up going with the 2080 Super NVIDIA reference card or what do they call those? Um, I forgot what they call them. Ones that actually uh, reference cards. They call them something different now, but um, uh, 2080 Super. I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, 2080 Super is not that much better than, you know, 1070 kind of TI or, or, or 2070 Super or something like that. They're like mm, poopy price per what a performance kind of knock there, but I ended up getting a super great deal like off of Best Buy, like well below MSRP. So that's why I ended up picking up that. 32 gigabytes of 3800 DD4 RAM. You know, and I got a really killer mother motherboard. It's the first time I ever actually splurged on a motherboard before. Usually I get a decent uh, lower level one. This time I went with a MSI Ace 570X a Meg uh, motherboard. And that thing is fantastic. Just from an overclocking standpoint, it's been worth the money I spent on it. So, yeah, and like MM, M, 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 um, e, uh 4 SS, uh, you know, uh, SSD. Um, and a whole bunch of other bells and whistles, you know. So, yeah, that was pretty fun. That's what I put, kind of poured myself into uh, when I wasn't drinking beer. Other than that, um, really not much else. Like I said, a little bit of that podcasting stuff. Going to be jumping back in the beer reviews comes a week time. And last but not least, the massive online beer share. I held one right before um, I went on my kind of healthy month. And uh, literally half of the shit is still kind of hooked up over here from when me and Keith did the show. And uh, I, I did it on purpose. Get one right in before I did my kind of healthy month. And that way I can bang one out again right at the beginning of my not so healthy lifestyle returning. And that will be on, I think it's the 16th. Anyway, it's not this Sunday. It's the following Sunday, the 16th. We're going to be doing our massive, it's a Sunday at 6 o'clock. We're going to do it. Massive online bottle share. 
I didn't know what to do this time. I was like, okay, last time we did our massive online bottle share, I was kind of deciding what should I do. I really wanted to do an IPA because, you know, we haven't really touched on one of those yet, and I wanted to get something that was readily available for people. So, what did I decide on? I decided to do, for the poll, mind you, because we leave this up to you guys because it's what you guys cannot, what I want to do. And uh, I decided to do Dogfish Head. Just run the gamut. Put up there, I put up 60, put up 75, I put up 90, and I put up 120. And I said, you guys vote. You do what you want to do, and then we'll pick that up, and then we will review that. Um, I mean, honestly, I thought 60 was going to run away with it. You know, I thought 60 Minute was going to be like, no shit, Sherlock, that's going to win, because that's what everybody can get. And then, you know, kind of, I thought 90 would come in second. I thought 75 and 120 might be tied, but I think 75 might be kind of in the middle there, because it's kind of like, you know, gettable, but not super high ABV. Wrong. Fucking wrong. 120 and a fucking landslide. You guys want to drink 120 online with me? You want to get shitty? Well, we're going to get shitty. So, um, here's what I'm going to do. So, you guys voted... 120 is going to be the beer. Um, I am going to bring all four of those beers on. Me and my buddy Keith will be here. We'll be doing all four of those beers in that session alone. You guys don't have to get all four. 120 is the focus of it. That is what we'll focus most of the time on. But I'll bring all four of them and we'll progress towards the 120. So if we're going to do like a 6 o'clock start, we might not dive into that 120 closer to like the 8 o'clock mark. If you guys are running a little bit late, you can jump in for that. So, but if you want to drink along, we'll do the vertical from the 60 to the 75 to the 90 to the 120. We're going to do that on Sunday. Yeah, it might get a little bit tipsy out, but those things happen when you drink, you know, a, what is it? Probably like a seven and eight at 9% beer and then two 18% beers. Why am I drinking two 120s? Because I'm going to take it a step further for you guys. I am going to get the freshest 120 I can possibly find. And then I am going to drink the oldest 120 I can possibly find um, and drink them side by side. That way we can kind of talk about how age treats that beer. It's one of my more favorite ageable beers out there. Uh, so it'll be fun to do. So right now, I mean, I'm assuming the freshest 120 I'm going to be able to find is a 2019. I haven't gotten went out and got one yet, but I, I should be able to find that. The oldest 120 I've found so far has been a 2013. Um, is offered up by a couple different people on Instagram. I put a couple feelers out there because I don't have anything. Preferably, I wanted exactly a 2009 so I could do a 10-year gap and just kind of put a nice book bookends on the whole video. But 2013, two people offered up um, 2013s when I put out the call on Instagram. So as of right now, it's going to be a 2013 bottle unless somebody else wants to step up the plate. So if you're watching this video, you like the reviews, um, and you're going to drink along and stuff like that, if you have something closer or older, even older would be fantastic, but if you have anything close to a 2009 that's not a 2013 or newer, let me know. If you're willing to part with it, we could work out a deal, whatever. I just think it would be really fun to kind of do those side by side. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh uh, yeah, new baby goat, tacos, jerk, in the most awesome way ever. Beer mails are coming in. i got a lot of content kind of coming down that is already pre-recorded. going to be recording some new stuff. Probably do some live stuff while I'm on vacation. That'll be the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th. Um, I'll be down on shore. You'll see videos then, most likely. Like I said, live stuff. On the 16th, we'll be doing a massive online bottle share with the Dogfish Head. 60, um, 75, uh, 90, and two different 120s. Again, it's 120 focus. So if, that's what, if you're looking to get one of them, that's the one you want to get. But if you feel like drinking along with the rest of them, you're more than welcome. There you go. That's all I got. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this long-ass video. I'm kind of excited because it's the longest video I've recorded since I got my new computer. I'm going to export and upload and do all that stuff after this. So you guys will see this tonight. Um, hopefully you guys are drinking some nice beer right now, whether it be non-alcohol or alcohol-based. Thank you very much, Carson, for another wonderful beer mail. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy drinking along with me in the uh, massive online bottle share hopefully you enjoy a lot of these beers you're going to start seeing pop up in the videos and as always hopefully see you next time cheers <laughs>